My name is Jennifer. Thank you all for coming to this space, whether your space is in your space or your space is this space. We have 60 minutes to take a journey into power together. And the theme of today's practice is taken from Emily Marushin's book titled 30. And this is number 19. It's a quote. Resist is, let me try that again. Resistance isn't there to stop you from getting what you want. It's there to strengthen you into the person who can handle it. And for me, resistance comes up on my mat within the first 15 minutes where I'm like struggling against the, do I really want to get this sweaty and nasty? Do I not? And I fight it. And yeah, I have a lot of resistance around a lot of things. But I find that if I suffer through, work through, power through, ease through the resistance, that it just makes me stronger. And I'm like, oh, that was no big deal. I can talk in front of 100 people because I just did this thing and it made me super nervous and it's like no big deal. Like I can do anything if I can hold chair pose for like five breaths, right? Let's begin. Child's pose. And turn on your ujjayi breathing deeply in your nose and deeply out your nose. And your ujjayi breathing will help you generate a little more heat to maybe get over that hurdle if you're like me about do I really want to get sweaty? Because I end up being, yeah, I do. This is great. Yeah, so breathe loud here. Create some heat for yourself. And give up whatever it is that you resist. On your mat, off your mat, downward facing dog. For when you give up resisting the thing, you're creating space for something new, you're creating an opportunity for you to get connected to someone or something in that space where you were locked out because you were resisting. Ragdoll, top of your mat. Clasp opposite elbows, drop your head, look at your back of your mat, see your toes. Extended mountain, reach up, look up. Bring your hands to heart center. We'll open this evening's practice with the sound of three ohms. Oh. Extended mountain, reach up, breathe in, forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, vinyasa, high push up, low push up, up dog, down dog. And one way to work through resistance is to allow for flow, the flow of your breath flow of your body pose to pose. Everyone inhale, everybody exhale. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, rise up, breathe in. So good, y'all. Forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale, vinyasa high to low. Good, Jen, up dog, down dog. Ah, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, travel to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, good, Danielle, forward fold. Extended mountain, rise up. Fold, halfway lift. Vinyasa high, low, up and down. Mm, good, Becky, yes, Sarah. 
Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, you land. Yes, Erica, halfway lift. Forward fold, extended mountain, rise, reach. Fold forward, right back down. Halfway lift, flow with your breath. Exhale, high push up, low push up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. When you get empty, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Extended mountain, rise, fold, exhale. So good, Danielle. Halfway lift, flow with your breath. High push up, low push up. Good, Dom. Up dog, down dog. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, travel. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain. Bow forward. Halfway lift, vinyasa. Good work, Nancy. Up, exhale down. Yes, Jimmy, I see you. Mm, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Yeah, halfway lift, forward fold. Chair pose, sit low, breathe in, fold forward, breathe out. Woo halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa with your exhale. Fill up, empty, take warrior one, right side. Warrior one, inhale, rise, exhale, flow, hands down. Inhale up, yes, Jimmy, I see that, three-legged vinyasa, down dog. Warrior one, left side, step your left foot forward, inhale, rise, eyes up, fingers reaching, hands down, vinyasa, high to low. Yeah, getting into a state of flow, letting go of getting it right or doing it a certain way or having it look a certain way. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Forward fold, chair, breathe in. Fold, breathe out. Halfway lift, inhale. Vinyasa, y'all, high to low. Good, Jen, up dog, mm -hmm. down dog. Take warrior one, right side. Inhale, rise up, eyes up, hands down, flow. Hmm, so good, Becky. Mm -hmm. Up dog, breathing in. Yes, Kelly, down dog, breathing out. Warrior one, left side, step forward, fill up, reach up. Hands down, flow. High to low. Modify as you need, give your body what it needs, work through any resistance and set it off to the side of your mat. Everybody fill up. Everybody empty out. Yes, bend your knees, travel to the top of your mat, halfway lift. Forward fold, chair, fold. So good, halfway lift, flow, high push up, low push up, up dog. Down dog, warrior one, right side. Let go of it being a certain way. Rise up, reach up, be messy, be sweaty. Hands to your mat, you flow high to low. Mm, you made the right decision to come to your mat. Up dog, down dog, warrior one, left side. Coming to your mat is always the right decision. Even if you just lay in Shavasana, you flow high to low. Inhale up, exhale down. Mm, mm. Sometimes your mat is sitting on your front porch. Sometimes your mat is sitting on your meditation seat. Sometimes your mat is sitting on the beach. Wherever you're consciously breathing, that is you on your mat. Lift your right leg. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Flip your dog, take your right foot down to the floor. Press down through your heels, lift your hips, reach. One, two, three, four, five. Good work, side plank, right hand down. Press down, lift your top leg up, spread the fingers on your left hand. So good, Dom. One, two, yes, Sarah, three, four, five. Downward facing dog, Woo. 
Left side, lift your left leg, flip your dog, opposite side, new experience. First time here. One, two, three, four, five, side plank. Flip over, lift up. One, yes, Becky, two, three, so good, everybody, four, five, downward facing dog. Woo! <sighs> Do that again. <sighs> Step your right foot forward, crescent lunge. Inhale, rise up, reach up. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to the right as you exhale. Inhale, open your arms. Exhale, stay. Inhale, warrior two. Yeah, create a space of flow. We'll get back here. Flow the first time. Reverse your warrior up and back. Extended side angle for a five count. We'll be here again. One, two, three, four, five. Vinyasa high to low. Mm, inhale up. Exhale down. Crescent lunge, left side. Step forward. Inhale, rise. Hands to heart center. Twist left. Open your arms. Breathe. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, warrior two. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. One, two, three, four, five. Vinyasa, high to low. Inhale up. Exhale down, bend your knees, look at your thumbs, top of your mat, boom, halfway lift. Forward fold, chair, inhale. Exhale, hands to heart center, twist to the right, flow it, open your arms as you breathe. Fold forward, breathe out. Halfway lift, breathe in, fold, breathe out. Chair pose, inhale. Twist, other side, one movement, one breath, flow, open, forward fold, release, halfway lift, vinyasa, high to low. Mm, and notice, movement, does it create resistance or does it enable getting through the resistance? Right side, crescent lunge. Rise up, breathe in. Mm, notice what comes up for you in flow versus stillness. Hands to center, twist to the right. Good work, y'all. Open your arms. Be here, breathing in and breathing out. Mm -hmm. Warrior two. Mm. Mm. Reverse your warrior. Extended side angle. And here, we'll be here for a few breaths. So if you bind, take the bind, take your left thumb around to your right hip crease for the half bind. Full bind, interlock your fingers behind the back of your right thigh. Bird of paradise, if that appeals to you, if that's in your practice, do that. We're here for five. One, two, three, four, five. Let it flow with your breath. Exhale, release. Inhale, renew. Exhale, down dog. Crescent lunge, left side. Mm. Hands to center, twist left. Open your arms if that is in your practice. Warrior two.
reverse. Good work, y'all. Extended side angle, half bind, full bind, bird of paradise. Yogi's choice, your choice, to stay in stillness, to move into a new stillness. We're here for five. One, two, three, four, five. Flow. Release your bind, flow your body. Pose to pose to pose. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump. Halfway lift, yes, Tom, forward fold. Chair pose for a five count. One, two, three, four, five. Hands to center, twist to one side. Open your arms, sit lower for one, two, three, four, five. Chair pose. One, two, three, four, five. Hands to center, twist left. One, two, three, four, five. Forward fold. Take your feet apart. Grab your big toes with your first two fingers and bend your elbows a lot, bend your knees a lot. Glue your chest to your thighs and let your head be heavy. Drop your head, shake it around, make sure you're dropping it. Sometimes we have tension in our bodies and we don't even know it. Ease into gravity with a heavy head. Release your big toes, slide your hands all the way underneath your feet, toes to wrist creases, and stand on the palms of your hands. Take one step backwards in your gorilla pose. One step forward in your gorilla pose. And let go of letting it, you know, how is this supposed to work? This feels really strange. And just step forwards and backwards in your gorilla asana, your palms to toes, forward fold. Good work, y'all. Make your way back to where you started. Release your gorilla pose and take crow. Forearm plank, good work. Or dolphin. Crow, forearm plank, or dolphin. We're here for 10. One, crow, your knees are on the backs of your arms. Forearm plank, we all know and love. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Vinyasa, y'all. High push up. Yes, heck yes. Up dog. Yes. Down dog. Woo wee. Yeah, take a breath in. It's summertime, y'all. Let it go. Bend your knees, look at your thumbs, jump to the top of your mat. Halfway lift, forward fold, extended mountain, rise, eyes up, hands to heart center, set your eyes out here, find your spot, and take eagle right side, squeeze your right thigh onto your left thigh, put a generous bend in your left knee, now take the arm wrap or grab opposite shoulders, breathe in and out of your nose. One, two, three, four, five. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, Five, switch sides. Good work, y'all. Good work. And take your second set of eagle for five full breaths. Yeah, so listen for your inhale, listen for your exhale. At the end of your fifth exhale, you'll change sides and repeat five breaths. Notice. Notice if you have resistance around anything. Good 
work. When you've completed your fifth breath, come to stand. And take standing leg raise, right side. Take your shin with your right hand, or the pinky toe edge of your foot, or your big toe with your first two fingers if you take the yogi toe lock. Good, Nancy. Mm -hmm. Flex your right foot. Yes. Open your right leg out to the side. Extend your left arm out to the left. Look over at your left thumb. Spread the fingers on your left hand. Good work. Come back to center. Kick your foot forward. Reach your fingers up. Be here. Kick forward. Reach up. Airplane. Right leg back. Foot flexed. Arms back by your sides. Palms down. Squeeze your shoulder blades together on your back body. Good, Erica. Yes, Kelly. Mm-hmm. Hands to heart center. Half moon. Left hand down to the block to the earth, stack your right hip up and over your left hip. Reach for the ceiling, send your eyes to the ceiling. 10, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. Good work, y'all. Switch sides. Standing leg raise. Take your chin, your big toe, the pinky toe edge of your foot. Open up. Reach out. Come back to center. Kick forward. Reach up. Kick forward. Reach up. Airplane, arms back, left leg back. Press out through your heel, extend out through the crown of your head. Good, Sarah, hands to heart center. Half moon, touch down, right fingertips. Good, Jimmy, yes, Nancy, so good, Jen. Everybody lift your back leg a wee bit higher for 10. One, two, good, Dom, three, Four, five, six, good Kelly. Seven, eight, yes, Becky. Nine, ten, release. Whew. Come to stand. Recreate your drishti. Mm -hmm. Dancer pose, right side. Take a hold of the inside of your right foot with your right hand. And you go. Let go of how you want it to be, how you think it should be, how you think it ought to be. Lift your left heel. Good work, y'all. Switch sides. Good work. Yeah, take your dancer, release resistance, mm -hmm. dancer pose, we all get so serious, put a bend in your right knee, lift your right heel, good work, change sides, good work, good work. Uh-huh. You take your dancer and you go. When you notice that you're too stable or super stable, not too, but super stable in your dancer, lift the toes on your standing foot, lift the heel on your standing foot. Bring your extended fingertips down to the floor and come back up. Do something to make your dancer new, uncertain. Good, Jen. Bend your standing knee more, Jimmy. Yes, switch sides. Good work, y'all. Mm -hmm. And take it till you fall. Take it till you wobble right out of it. Good work. 
release. Good work. Tree pose. Take your right foot to your ankle, your calf, or your inner thigh, whatever you please, above or below your knee is all I ask. Press into center line. Lift the front of your pelvis, lift your chest up, lift your hands up, your eyes up. Lift. See the ceiling, see the wall behind you. Close your eyes on three. One, two, three. Switch sides. Tree pose. Reach up, lift up, go up. Go back one, two, three. Release. Good work. Make your way to the top of your mat. Shake it off. Do the hokey pokey. Literally turn yourself around. Whatever you need to do to let go of all of the seriousness that happens in standing balancing poses. Extended mountain. Reach up. Look up. Fold forward. Exhale. Halfway lift. Breathe in. Vinyasa, high push-up, low push-up. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Right foot forward, triangle. Take a really long triangle from front to back. Yeah, put a bend in both of your knees. Right fingers to a block. Softness in your knees. and create flow with your breath. And come up to standing. Point all your toes to the left side of your mat, side facing wide, leg forward fold. Drop your head, widen your feet. The wider you make your feet, the closer the crown of your head gets to the earth. Use blocks. Do something to get your head in contact with something. Hmm. Hmm. Rise up. Pyramid pose. Point your right toes forward. Take your left foot wide and halfway up your mat. Feet out wide. Reach up and fold over your front leg. Look at your left big toe. Drop your head. Mm. And press the center of each heel down. Good, Nancy. Good, Jen. Mm -hmm. Twisting triangle. Create your twisting triangle. Press the center of each heel down. And offer up whatever it is you're resisting for five, one, two, three, four, five, vinyasa, high to low. Inhale up, exhale down. Triangle left foot forward. Soften your knees. Spread the fingers on your right hand in all different directions. Good, Jen. Mm -hmm. Breathe in and breathe out. Come up to standing. Point your toes to the right side of your mat. And do something different with your hands. Interlace your hands or clasp opposite elbows. Take reverse prayer hands, whatever you please. 
Put a big bend in your knees mm, and a big bend in your elbows. If you have interlaced hands, yes. Good, everybody, so good. Rise up to standing, take pyramid pose, left toes forward. Create your stance, short and wide. And let something go. Let something go. Hmm. Yes, the space is one where noise is encouraged. Sighing, the audible release of something is fully supported. Heck yes. Twisting triangle. Right fingertips down, left fingers reach. <sighs> Another breath in. Vinyasa, high push up, low push up. Up dog. Down dog. Ah. Five yogi push ups. High push up, low push up, one. Knees down, knees up. High push up, low push up, two. High push up, low push up, three. High to low, four. High to low, five. Lower all the way down. Put one ear on your mat. Bring your arms back by your sides, palms down. Rest your neck, rest your head. Locust pose. Rise up, look at the top edge of your mat, lift your hands, your chest, your feet, rise up for five, good, one, two, heck yes, three, four, five, lower all the way down, Whew. locust, rise up, one, two, three, four, five, lower all the way down. Floor bow, bend your knees, grab your feet, your ankles, or your shins. Flex your feet and squeeze your big toes in towards center line. Woo! For five. One, two, three, four, five. Lower all the way down. Sway your feet from side to side. Release it. Release the grip. You may know that we're going to do another one. That's okay. Release the grip. Sway your feet. I'm looking at you, Jimmy. <laughs> Floor bow, second set. Now take the grasp. You gotta take the breaks when they're there. Like let it go for a little bit. Rise up, now rise up. Flex your feet, squeeze your big toes in towards center line for five, yes. Two, three, four, five. Lower down, let it go. Ah, oh, I do it too. Like I know we're going there, I'm gonna keep it. No, you don't have to keep it, it's okay. Upward facing dog for three. One, two, three. Downward facing dog. Good work, y'all. Good work. Come down to your knees and take camel pose. Take camel pose with any arm variation. Hands to the small of your back, cactus arms, interlace your fingers. Take your chest up and your eyes back. Chest up, eyes back. Mm. Come out when you're ready. When you're ready. And then you go again. You go again when you're ready. 
camel. Lift. Lift. Oh, so good. Come out, release, sit on your heels. Pause. If you like to take rabbit pose, take rabbit pose, pose camel. Rabbit, bring the crown of your head down to the earth. Hands on your heels. Sometimes that feels good after camel. Hmm. Make your way onto your back for bridge pose. <sighs> Lift your hips up towards the ceiling. Dig your heels down and pull your heels in towards your bone energetically, like you could, like you could like bundle up your mat, like hips up, heels down. One, two, three, four, five, lower down. We have six more. Bridge, wheel, half and half. One, five, two, three, you choose. Each one's a five count. I invite you to come up and stay up. I invite you to lift a leg. I invite you to be in the experience of letting something go. Number one of five, six. Rise. One, two. Heck yes. Three, four, five. Number two. One, two, three, four, five. Number three. One, two, three, four, five. Number four, one, two, three, four, five. Number five, one, two, three, four, five. Last one, one, two, three, four, five. Heck yes. Recline butterfly pose, lower all the way down and feel the heartbeat that you just created. Feel the speed at which your heart is beating and you made that happen. Like only you can do this practice for you. And there's something special about that. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, let something go. Good. Happy baby. Lengthen your spine down on the earth. Press the back of your head down. Release a hold of your feet. Press your feet up towards the ceiling. Press out through your heels. Extend your arms towards the ceiling. Pull your belly button into your spine and reach for your toes. Little pulses, little crunches for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Lower one leg to a hover. Flex your foot that you've extended. Yes, Becky, so good. Pulse towards the other foot, pressing towards the ceiling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pull your knees into your chest. Squeeze your knees. Place your hands underneath your tailbone. This is usually where the class resistance comes up. 30, 60 legs, or at least I hear it as groans. I hear that as resistance. Maybe I'm making that up. Cross your right ankle over your left ankle. Ooh, what's that? Lower your legs 30 degrees. Lower your legs 60 degrees. Hover your feet. Look at your toes. See all of your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up. Switch the cross of your ankles. Press out through your heels. Lower your legs 30 degrees. 60 degrees. Hover your feet. Look at your toes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up. Lower your feet 30 degrees. You can uncross your ankles. You can set your feet free. 60 degrees. Hover your feet. Take your feet apart and together. Look at your feet apart and together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up. Lower down 30. 60. 
Wiggle your toes back towards your face. Yes, hover your heels. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Head down, legs up. Last one, lower down 30, 60. Hover your feet, hover your feet one inch off the earth and do something with your feet, your favorite thing with your feet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Squeeze your knees into your chest. Yogi bicycles, what's our number tonight? 20. 20. Let's begin. One, gotta get it quick. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twenty. Squeeze your knees into your chest and then rock and roll up to a high boat. We'll do three. Each one's a five count. High boat number one, two, three, four, five. Low boat, one, two, three, four, five. High boat, one, two, three, four, five. Low boat, one, two, three, four, five. High boat, one, two, three, four, five. Last low boat, one, two, three, four, five. Make your way to half pigeon on your back, half pigeon front down. You choose, y'all, you choose. Mm. I hear you. I hear you. Oh yeah, back farts. Yeah, totally. Yoga back farts all day long, totally. No, it's, it's actually kind of funny. <laughs> Especially when you get into it and you do it on purpose, you're like, back farts! Yeah. <laughs> totally. <sighs> yeah, the struggle is real. It's all good. Switch sides. double pigeon or seated figure four. Take five full breaths when you've chosen your pose. and then switch at your fifth exhale and create a space of flow. And 
And at the end of your fifth breath on this side, you'll take frog pose with your head towards the street. So towards the right side of your mat. And create frog in such a way that you can let go of resistance that comes naturally with frog. You'll take your knees wide out on your mat and you'll make right angles with your thigh bones, your shin bones, and your foot bones. You can take a block under your head, a block under your pelvis, and you'll pull your toes up towards your kneecaps. So the big toe bone side of your foot is on the floor. Sixty more seconds to offer up, to let go of, to ease through resistance. Make your way slowly out of frog. And then come into seated single leg extension. Seated tree, seated single leg extension. Switch sides. Seated forward fold. Reverse tabletop. One, two, three, four, five. Lower all the way down, take fish pose. Lift your chest up, send your eyes to the back wall, spread all ten of your toes. One, two, three, four, five. Come out of fish and then choose your inversion. Simple inversion is to lie on your back, block under your tailbone, legs up to the ceiling. If you have any other inversion that you would like to take, take it. Headstand, shoulder stand, you go there, yogi, you do you.
yogi. If you're in shoulder stand, you can take plow, take your toes to the earth over your head. And from plow, bend your knees, bring your knees by your ears for ear pinning pose. And then slowly come down out of your inversion, slowly. Remove any props from underneath you. Take a full body stretch. Mm. And then hug one or both knees into your chest. Take a supine twist to one side. And get the other side. And then come back to center, recline, butterfly pose. Connect in, hand to heart, hand to belly. And then expand your whole body out, preparing for stillness, your final resting pose. I'll come around and I'll place a cool lavender towel on your forehead. If this is something you do not want, bring one hand to your belly. I see you. I thank you. Shavasana.
Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, stick out your tongue, make some noise, lion's breath. Do that again. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, and then roll to one side. Slowly press yourself up to a simple seat at the top of your mat. Bring your hands to heart center. And we'll seal this class with the sound of three ohms. Oh. thumb knuckles to your forehead center lift your chin towards the heavens and from right here invite in whatever it is you need to become aware when you're resisting and to put the space in to move through it move around it let go of it and together we bow thank you Sarah thank you Becky thank you Erica Danielle, Dom, Kelly, Jen, Nancy, and Jimmy. Give yourself applause for the good work. Yes, 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 so good.